今回はオリンピックについて話したいと思います。Hi everyone, it's Scott here from That's English School. オリンピックという言葉自体には皆さんよく間違ってますね。これ言っとかないとですね。英語だとオリンピックではなくて The Olympics または The Olympic Games と言いますね。複数形ですね。いろんなスポーツがあるので必ずその S をつけてください。あとは The を忘れないでくださいね。The Olympic Games。はあ、ほっとした。それは皆さんに本当に伝えたかった。オリンピックは4年に一度開催される大きなイベントですよね。英会話のきっかけにはなるので、いろんなフレーズと単語を見てみましょう。Which verb do we use to talk about holding such a big event? We use hold, or more formally, to be held. The Olympics were held in Rio de Janeiro in 2016. The Tokyo Olympics were supposed to be held in 2020. We can also say to host the Olympic Games. So, the word host is a really good word. It means to take care of everything, to be in charge of everything. So, like you can have a host family or you can have、uh, the host of a party. Those people take care of everything. The host. And of course, it is televised all over the world. And we can also say it is broadcast all over the world. And of course, we have the opening ceremony. We don't say the starting ceremony, we say the opening ceremony. And at the ceremony, we declare the Olympic Games open. So the verb to declare is a very useful one. Maybe you have seen in the airport somewhere, if you go through the customs and the immigration, it asks you, do you have goods to declare? Or if you have nothing to declare, Usually it's kind of a green one or a red one. You have to pay tax, declare. And the famous question、uh, that the immigration officer sometimes says is Do you have anything to declare? And then finally, we have the closing ceremony. We don't say the finishing ceremony, we say the closing ceremony. And then, depending on the season, we have the Summer Olympics. And then we also have, in colder times, we have The Winter Olympics. I personally prefer the Summer Olympics、uh, because I don't know, there's, there just seems to be、uh, more sports that I enjoy during the Summer Olympics. I'm not really a,、uh, a winter kind of a person. And then a very important thing is the Olympic flame, and we have the Olympic torch, and we have the Olympic torch bearer. So, we don't say torch runner, we use the word bearer. So, the word bear basically means to hold, to carry. So, you bear the torch and lead the people through the streets. The Olympic torch bearer. The venues are also really important to a good Olympics. So, we have the Japan National Stadium or the Olympic Stadium. Please be very careful with the pronunciation. It's like this Stadium. 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 And the song of your country is called the National Anthem. So it's not called a song, it's called an anthem, which seems more important. The National Anthem of Japan. And then, of course, we have The national flag. You know this one very, very well.、Uh, and this one too. This one's called the Union Jack, the flag of the UK. These are two of my very favorite national flags. Next up, we have the podium. Yep,、yeah, that's the place where the athletes go up to get their medals,、uh, the podium. And then we have in first place the gold medal, in second place, The silver medal, and in third place, the bronze medal. I find a lot of people don't know the name of bronze. 
gold, silver and bronze. Okay, let's look at the English in action. The Olympic Games, yeah, I'm a huge fan. I won't be able to see the, uh, the opening ceremony because I'm working that night, but uh, I guess it's being televised all over the world, so I guess I'll see it at some point, maybe online or something. Even before the games start, I get really excited just seeing the Olympic torchbearer uh, running through the streets. You know, it kind of sets the scene for what's to come, doesn't it? Probably some of the proudest moments ever is when you see your favorite athlete standing in the center of the podium, getting the gold medal. I love to see them with the olive wreath and, you know, biting the, the medal for the cameras. Yeah, that's the Olympics. That's what it's all about. In Japanese, you use the word senshu. In English, we have two words. We have the general word, athlete, and then we have another word, player. So what's the difference between these two words? Player is only used when you use the verb play, which is mainly used for ball sports. For other sports like swimming, you can use the general word athlete, or you can use a specialized word, uh, for example, a swimmer, or a canoeist, or a golfer, or a skier, something like that. When we talk about a particular athlete, we always use their full name. Kei Nishikori is having a great game. So we would never say Kei Nishikori player or Kei Nishikori athlete. We would just say Kei Nishikori. It sounds weird if you add player or athlete onto someone's name. Let's look at some more vocabulary. We can take part in the Olympic Games. So the verb take part, another word is participate, to take part in. You can be selected for the Olympic team. Another word is chosen. You can be chosen for the Olympic team. You can represent Japan at the Olympic Games. Although I think Japanese people use the word represent or representative a little bit too much in English. Maybe they're translating from the word daihyo, um, but in English we use more simple things like uh, he plays for Japan or he is in the Japan team. It's a little more casual, but it seems much more natural to say something like that rather than every time saying representative. And if you do something bad, then the following could happen. You'll be disqualified from the Olympic Games. Disqualified. Let's talk about something more positive, okay? Success. Yay! So you can get to the finals. Everybody wants to get to the finals, yeah? And you can set an Olympic record. Hopefully we'll be seeing some of those uh, in the Olympics. And you can also break an Olympic record. Break. Sounds really cool. Usain Bolt broke the world record at the Beijing Olympics. Now he's fast. You can win a medal and then you will be the winner. And the person who is next to you, they will be called the runner up. The winner, the runner up. Let's take another look at the English in action. Welcome to the National Aquatic Center and we're just about to interview one of our Olympic medalists. It's Scott, who just got a gold medal in the 100 meters freestyle. Congratulations on your victory. You made us all very proud today. Yeah, thank you, thank you very much, yes. I mean, just representing my country. I mean, I never even thought I'd make it into the, the national team. And I mean, it's just, it's like a dream. I can't believe it. So how did the race go for you? It looked like you got off to a bit of a bad start. Yeah, yeah, the other the other swimmers, I mean, they, they got off to a better start than me, but you know, I pulled through and a new Olympic record. That's fantastic. Yeah, well, what can I say? I, I'm stoked. I didn't even expect to, to get into the final stages, never mind 
break a world record. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. Thanks very much for your time and congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Let's take a look at some phrases that you can use in a conversation about the Olympics. I think Hiroshi's out there somewhere, he's at the stadium. What sports are you into? I'm a huge fan of swimming. Which sport are you looking forward to the most? I can't wait for the 100 meters. Why do you like that sport so much? It's so exciting to see the fastest people on earth. Do you play any sports? Not so much now, but I sometimes play golf. What sports did you used to play in your school days? I used to be in the table tennis club. Who's your favorite athlete? Right now, I guess I like Tomokazu Harimoto. And which sport is your country good at? We're good at cycling. And how many medals do you think your country will get? I think we'll get between 10 to 20 medals. Well, I must dash. I'm very busy at my company. Wow, give that man a medal. It's homework time. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a Japanese sentence. Uh, this one right down here. Okay, uh, I want you to change this Japanese sentence into English. Okay, and write your answer in the comments below. Kono Nihongo, Ego ni shite kudasai. Commento ran no tokoro ni kotae o irete kudasai. Ato de check shimasu yo. Machigatta ra dajoube da yo. Chanto advice o shimasu. Let's have a look here. So, it says Nihon wa renshou chu da. Well, that sounds good. Lovely jubbly. Uh, so please write your answers down there and uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Give it a try. And that's our video about using English in the Olympics. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Nanika wakaranai koto ga arimashita ra ne. Ano zehi zehi ano komento ran no tokoro ni nan demo kiite kudasai. Nihongo demo, ego demo daijoubu desu yo. Henji suru toki ni wa ego desu. Okay, thank you very much for watching and the next video up is right over here. Uh, it's about how to use play, do and go. It's kind of related to sports. I'll see you over there. Thank you.